episode of Salt Air. My name is Tom Hatch. I'm the creator of Salt. And today I want to talk about multi-master. Setting up an automation system and having high availability and failover can be a difficult thing. We've built into our enterprise offering the ability to utilize the multi-master arrangements that are available inside of Salt, making it easy for you to take your existing highly available cluster, however you've decided to deploy it, and attach it cleanly into SaltStack Enterprise. And I want to talk about some of the caveats and some of the things that we have to look out for when we're expressing these different topologies for high availability and failover and scaling. Now, let me start by talking about the two different types of multi-master setups that exist inside of SALT today. We have the failover multi-master system and we have the hot, hot multi-master system. The failover multi-master system means that you have multiple masters and that your minions are configured so that they're aware of those multiple masters, but they only ever connect to one master at a time. The hot, hot system, the minions are aware of all of those masters and they maintain an active connection to all of those masters all the time. The hot, hot system obviously doesn't have any failover lag. If you lose a master, your other masters are available, and it's our original answer to high availability. The failover system allows you to spread out the functionality of managing large groups of minions across multiple masters while still maintaining one autonomous way of managing or looking at those masters. Now, as you may have guessed, if you've got a failover multi-master system and you want to run an execution or remote execution command, you need to run it on all those masters. Whereas in a hot, hot scenario, you only need to run it on any of those masters. Now, here's where enterprise comes in. Because of these different topological arrangements that we provide for high availability, the enterprise system is able to deal with both of them. If we have a failover master cluster attached to enterprise, then enterprise knows when I send a command down, it's going to go to every master in that cluster, and then I'm going to merge all of the information from all of those disparate minions across that cluster inside of the enterprise tracking database. If I get a command that's meant for a hot, hot master cluster, I'm only going to send that command down to one of those masters. And then it sends the command down to the master based on their own availability, how regularly they are able to check in and receive those commands. Now, as you can see, a hot, hot system doesn't scale quite as well as a failover system. But again, both systems have their ups, both systems have their downs. Now, the last thing that I want to mention, since we're already on the topic of high availability, is how do we make this enterprise server highly available? We can't, of course, create a layered topology for managing systems that is only highly available on certain levels. And so what we've done with the enterprise system is it functions primarily as a web app. So between masters and enterprise, we can insert a load balancer. And so if we have a load balancer that these systems are going through, then that load balancer can connect to multiple enterprise systems. And then those enterprise systems are connecting into a database. That in and of itself has its own scalability and high availability features. So we're able to create a complete deployment of highly available systems highly available capabilities, and still deliver significant scale. Because as we build out our enterprise and server nodes behind a load balancer, they can handle more attachments to more masters and subsequently handle the management of more minions. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope that this answers some of your questions that you may have about high availability, failover, and scaling salt across large system deployments. Thanks, and until next time.